but I'm not strong. Not like you. Forgive me. Mother. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode two of our Ultimate Skyrim Let's Play Season 3, One Life, One Death. So last episode, we unfortunately made a little bit of a oop oopsie uh, error. I was trying to suck on someone's blood while they were sleeping and I got caught while doing so. It was a mistake on my end. What, what I think happened was... I was crouched and because like the character did a little animation that uh got me spotted uh, that's exactly what happened actually now that I think about it so now we're on the run and um the reason why I'm in this paused menu right here is because once I unpause I'll be right in the middle of a fight with an imperial little archer right there probably the most dangerous opponent right now for me early on Going up against uh, ranged opponents here. So uh, once I unpause here, I'm going to be making a break for it to the hills to my left. And uh, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Run away. Run away. Decom out. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do for this archer, because he's going to come around that corner any second. I'm going to hide around here. That way I can break his line of sight. And then he'll have to come to me. Here he comes. Yeah. Right on schedule. I'm gonna run, run right at him. Okay, here we go. Oh, does he have a sword? Oh, no, 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 Here we go. No. Here we go. All right. Not bad. Got that heavy armor going. I barely took any damage there. Wow. Heavy armored vampires seem to be the way of it. All right. Oh, and he did have a silver arrow. That would have been deadly. That would have been deadly. Um, I oh, need to drop some of my stuff here. Um, should I keep the silver? I don't know. I'm gonna keep... I'll keep the silver, I'll keep this. But it's like, I'll drop the iron. This iron's kind of meh. And I only have two elven. That should free up some carry weight. Should I drop the steel? Should I drop orcish? I'll drop orcish as well. And ancient Nordic arrows and just regular arrow classic. And there you go. That should be fine, and that should heal me up all the way to the top. Very good. Excellent. So we're making headway here. So, looks like this is a mine. That looks like a nice little place. Okay, hold on. Is this a friendly person? Is this a friendly person? Well, I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. I think I'll be okay. Mine isn't safe. Why? You're tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is oh, I see. So there's going to be undead. We're Unfortunately, I don't have with those silver around, weapons here. So I wouldn't go down there if I were you. You're joking, right? Those bone walkers will tear you limb You know, from limb. he's probably right. They probably will uh, tear ahead. me limb from limb. I need to get a silver weapon first before I can do any real questing, helping the townsfolk of their issues or problems. Oh my gosh, I'm naked. Why am I naked? Why am I naked? Oh yeah, that's that's right. I remember I took off the heavy armor. <laughs> okay, um, should I go inside? It is almost four. And I should make my way indoors by the time four o'clock comes around and it is halfway to four. Can I come in? Hello? Is someone there? Ooh. You know what they say about inviting vampires once you let them in? They never leave. And he made that mistake. So now <laughs> this is my house. You lost. Let's see. But is it owned? Dang it, why? Like, I I'm wondering if you kill the kill these guys? I just kind of want to see. Will it become unowned? We're keeping the mine closed until that Who are you, by the way? You look, you're like a nobody. Like, I don't really understand why these are owned. They should be unowned. Okay, he's got I got servant. I'm debating. 
I think I'm, I'm just gonna save, and I'm just, I just want to see, just for testing, just not to, not to. I just want to see. I, I just want to see. You suffer, okay? Just, just want to see what will happen. Okay, so the beds are still owned. Oh wait, what the? Okay, so they're not owned. Wait, what? Dude, well, that's confusing. Why is that like that? So hold on. Let's. This is just for testing. We need to check. As if I can just maybe sleep at the bed, maybe I don't have to kill them then. Okay, so all right, I do have to kill both of them, unfortunately. And maybe I'll make this my little base of operations then. I'll think about it. Toothal, I will think about it. For your sake, I will think about it. We have eh, nothing. Do have some things here for alchemy? I mean, I already killed one guy. I think the oh, there's the saber. That's good. I already killed one guy, so I'm pretty sure the divines aren't going to listen to me anymore. So it's we're kind of over the the edge now. There's no going back from that. Um, which is unfortunate because it'll be much harder to walk around in the daytime and uh, and uh, survive that. But yeah, okay. Um, uh, I gotta make a decision here pretty quick. Check the map. Or head to Rorkstead. Or I stay here. I'd like to go to Whiterun, but I'd have to really set up my character in such a way to where I can go to Whiterun, sleep it off maybe, and then hopefully have enough. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I think I'm just going to be on the lamb for the rest of my time as a vampire. Maybe I should just live with it. Because I don't think I'll be able to sleep it off. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, I don't... Damn. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I think I might have to... I might just have to... I might have to kill them. I think I have no other choice. I'll have to kill both of them. And then take their blood. For the next morning. I have no choice here. I think the the situation has kind of called for the lawn blood. And you know what? It's it's Perth's fault. Toothel. Tuthel. Toothel. You know who you can blame for this? It's Perth. Because you know what they say about letting vampires in. Once you let them in, they'll never leave. Okay, so it's this guy's fault. He could have said no, but because he was kind, now he has to die. So Unfortunately, you know, I'll kill you last. Toothal, listen. I'll kill you last because it's not your fault, okay? Oh, Toothal, don't get up. You don't want to see this. Toothal, no. No, Toothal. Oh, he knows. He's blocking me. He knows. <laughs> oh, he's just going to sweep. What are you saying, Toothal? You're saying I'm trash? You're going to sweep away the trash? I don't think so. Ah, you're the trash now, Toothal. Yeah. Okay, so that was going to happen regardless at some point, so now I'm going to keep the bodies here. Keep the blood. Keep the blood, and then I'm going to sleep for until 7 p.m. Take the two bloods, and then we're going to head back out. And now I have a huge bounty on my head. But good to know, once you kill the owners of these beds, you can sleep in them, so that's actually great to know. I'll be, might as well sleep for the full allotted, maybe 12 hours there. Yeah, dude. Five. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting thirsty. So two more, six, one more hour should do it. And there we go. So now, I'm gonna have the two bloods. Take that key. Take another blood. Take that septum, take that lock pick. 
And uh, yeah, there we have it there. We're now at overwhelming thirst. And we should drop that down to, where are we? Oh, we're all, all the way down to sated thirst. Okay, I'll take that. Unfortunately for you two, you will not be seeing another morning. Uh, what can we take here? Because we've already killed two people. We might as well just go the full hog and uh, start taking some things that we can. Maybe a uh, woodcutter's axe for wood. Maybe the pickaxes uh, for fat marksmen. No. Pelt. No. No, no, no. Like 90% of this I can't even really use because I am, again, a vampire. Iron sword. No. Okay, yeah, the only thing I can find that's of value right now is just actually this. Believe it or not. Okay, so now it's 7.30 p.m. It's time to make our way to Whiterun in order to make uh, proper things here. They do have a bunch of pelts. I think this should be enough. Could actually, I'm gonna take that other pelt. That's the other thing of value. Yeah, let's do that. Cause then I can make my own like a fur. Oh, there's another stuff right there. Dang it. Oh, I got a mammoth tusk. Do I need that tusk? No, I do not. Put you back in here. There you go. So if someone comes around like, hey man, we got a free mammoth tusk. Two bodies though, but hey, mammoth tusk. That's not bad. So that will be how I repay them. So whoever comes by can be like, oh, hey, what's that? Just a bush. Okay. So whoever comes by can be like, hey, look, free mammoth tusk. Like, that's not right. That's that's all right, you know? You know, who doesn't want free mammoth tusk? Oh, jeez. Okay, so I do have to wear that, and that will reduce it even further. So I guess this is how we're moving. Uh, let's see, where are we? I want to go to White Run. That will be the goal, is to try to get to there. Hopefully I'm going the right way. It's hard to tell. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. We want to go this way. Am I going the right direction? I am. Okay, so I want to take that path up and to the left there. That looks like... I can't move like this. This is redonkulous. Can I drop some el something else? Oh, I got an elixir of blood. Okay, I didn't know that. That will... That's very useful. Excellent. I'll keep that for a rainy day. Don't want to use that right away. Animal bone. Large. Okay, I am... Um, I'm going to make that animal bone. Because that... Make it a hercene so I get stamina or kinnereth for HP. Or get a bone hunting knife. Feel like I don't really need it. Ah, jeez. I make a decision here quick. Um. Uh, uh. Bone hunting knife. Okay, there. So now I can just do my own hunting. I don't have to worry. What is that? Oh, it's a soul gem on the ground. Unfortunately, I can't... Oh, it's a... Did, did I drop this? I must have dropped it. I mean, it's... Pretty good value. Uh, let's see. Can I get rid of this now? Or something? Dang it. Okay. How about these? This and this. And hopefully that will increase my movement speed ever so slightly. Eh, kind of. I mean, it's not great, but... You know, every little bit helps here. I'm hoping, like, uh, there's going to be, like, no real fuss as we head over to, um, Whiterun. Though, I suspect with a huge bounty on our heads, we got 500 septums, which at the start of the game is no laughing matter here. Now I'm low stam. Luckily, it regenerates absolutely, like, rapid fire paced. That looks like nonsense over there. Avoid that. What a nice night, though. Look at this. Oh, look how big that moon is. So pretty, so precious. I feel like howling at it, but that would be bad. We are enemies of the lichens. We do not howl at the moon. We hiss or whatever. Whatever vampires do when the moon's out. Maybe you go upside down somewhere. 
but it is a, a clear night tonight. It's very nice. Got pretty good visibility. Hopefully we're going the right way here. That is very pretty. That is very nice. Ooh, some caribou. Unfortunately, I don't make use of any caribou meat, so I'll not be chasing that down anytime soon. But, oh, God, it's so, so nice. Like, the lighting is like, oh, it's kind of dark over here, but look over here. It gets all bright and shiny. Got that really nice horror effect going. Oh, it looks real nice. That looks real pretty. Going the right way still. Uh, we will probably avoid Rorikstead because there are guards over there. And those guards are going to wreck me because they have full plate. And I kind of do not. I only have a little dinky one-handed. If I had maybe a two-hander, maybe I could uh, power attack through their armor and get some free plate out of it. But uh, at this point in the game... Not so much. Okay, so that is Rorikstead. Or, no, that's just another house over there. Maybe they'll let me in. Hello there, friend. I'm a little lost. Do you mind letting me in for supper? Oh. It appears you're on the menu. Slurp, slurp. That's what I would say, but... And what is that? Oh. oh, maybe I can let the skeevers attack me for a bit and actually level up my uh, heavy armor here. Yeah, okay, you know, this is actually not a bad strategy. Hmm. Yeah, they're not doing too much damage. I'll let them... The other thing, there you go, yeah, this is pretty nice. I mean, there's no real other way to level up your heavy armor other than, like, literally getting attacked. So, of course I can't do this forever. Let them hit my shield a bit. Yeah, yeah, maybe... God, I think what I'll do... I'll go in here, and then hopefully he doesn't follow me. Okay, they do. They do follow, but there is some stuff in here. Here, just hit my shield while I have a look so we can get some efficiency going. Actually, no, I don't want to level up my shield. I want to have it level up my heavy armor. There's butterfly, fly wings, a green head, and scarf. Okay, out of the way now. Daddy's gotta go over here. Large pots. I can smelt these pots into um, iron and then the iron into steel once you get coal. And coal you can find pretty much anywhere with um, those smelters. They have piles of coal right by beside them with those um, uh, shovels. So getting coal is pretty much a non-issue. Brotherhood, don't need that. Got a broom behind there, it looks like. Getting a little bit annoyed here. Oh. There go. Oh, he's got a chest. Two septums, I'll take that. Thank you, kindly. I think he hit his friend. He's got a little green hue on him now. I think he might have been poisoned, or maybe that's just his, like, coloration. What else has he got? Ooh, an elder cheese slice. Uh, yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about being a vampire. Like, a good chunk of the game is kind of cut off from you now. Like, I can't take these red apples. Otherwise, the red apples would be kind of useful to carry around with you. So you can cook them and do all sorts of, sorts of things with them. Okay. Daddy's gotta go now, kids. I gotta go. Oh, look at you both. Look at you. I, oh, what? Oh, jeez. What What did they do? Daddy's angry. Oh, oh, this was part of your strategy the whole time, wasn't it? You knew you couldn't take me, so you thought you'd trap me. But joke's on you, kids. You can't trap the dead. Yeah. Yeah. I'm leaving. Goodbye. 
I don't- I'm actually gonna keep them in there. They don't come out, do they? No, I don't see the green one anywhere. So actually, I will take out these guys. And I will keep those ludes, lud, ludes skeevers in there. Because then I can use them to farm for, like, heavy armor. It'll take a while, of course, but... Better than nothing, I suppose. Otherwise, trying to level up heavy armor in this game, like... The normal way is just a pain, I find. It takes too long, and um, otherwise you're using um, uh, training to do so, and obviously being a vampire, uh, I think training is kind of off the table, especially at this point with me uh, on the run. Okay, so there's a cave bear there. Gonna avoid all, and there's a troll. Can't deal with the troll right now. If I had like a flaming sword, a flaming two-handed sword, that what might uh, might work, but I do not. I think my goal though would be if I want to do some dungeoning, which will probably be a thing in the future, uh, is to get a two-handed silver great sword with flame enchant. Oh, that thing will rack, especially with power attacks. The Draugr will not stand one iota of a chance. Just one shot every Draugr in sight. But that will uh, take a while. I'd have to set up some things. Hopefully, I, if I do set it up properly, I can pull it off. Is that? No, that's not. White run. Okay, I need to go over this or go cut through here. And then I can get to White Run. But then the guards will spot me and they'll do all sorts of nasty things. And there's probably bandits up here. Because this looks mighty suspicious. I'm going to avoid that. Oh, speak of the devil. Hello, bandit. I wonder what, Bl uh, I was going to say Blizzard, or like uh, Bethesda's thought for this little clearly triggered event here. Like, if you came across this bandit. Now, oh. This <laughs> okay, never mind. I just tried to talk to him. Oh, there you go, son. Okay, well, you got some blood on you. I'll take that. Thank you. Maybe I'll just find more of your friends here and uh, decrease my my stages here. Actually, no, I am still at Sated Thirst. And by drinking that blood, I did refresh it. So maybe instead of attacking them, I will avoid them and maybe just keep them around for later. Okay, so these are Imperials. They are kind of blocking the way where kind of are. I need to kind of get over this direction. Get out of my way, crab. I have no time for you. It's 9 p.m. Might go swimming. Yeah, I'm gonna go swimming. Oh, we're going swimming. We're moving. Oh gosh, we're moving. Hope there are no trolls down here. Alright, so there's a pathway out of here. So we are wet, which is a good thing, because uh, with wet and cold, you can get all wet, and then you gain resistances to fire when you're all wet, which is good for me. Oh, yeah, that's a saber cat right there. Let's avoid that. Just go after the caribou. That's right. I am moving... Incredibly slow. Uh, let's take this off. I, okay, no. Leave that on. Take the boots off. Take that off. Okay, that's that's good. That's pretty much increased my movement speed to where I want it to be. Okay, so that looks like a bandit camp right there. Avoid that for now. 
I think there might be a little bit too many bandits to deal with there. At least for the start. But that is a lot of blood to uh, consider. I'm actually heading to Morthal here. Don't really want to go to Morthal. I'm to get to White Run and get it to the. Oof. Sorry, you bumped into me there, kiddo. Another little hut here. Let's have a check. Let's see what they contain. Mud crabs, leeks. More mud crabs, ooh, and a fisherman. I've been hunting. Take a look. I will not kill you, fisherman. I will give you my flowers though, and you have zero gold. Okay, maybe I will kill you because you have insulted me with having the no gold. But you know what? I will not. I'm feeling merciless today. So, off we go. Herb over there. Bear over yonder. Looks like a cave over there or something what is that oh that's a bush <laughs> of course it's a bush oh geez and it's a bear over there okay you're the you're the boss man okay i'm just gonna go for a swim yeah okay so i'm gonna be this might be bear country a lot of bears here, but I am not really going where I want to go. But how do I get to Whiterun? It's like, once you get to like a certain point, especially this area, the area is very rugged. It kind of forces you to go down a certain pathway, I find. Because I am just heading to Morthal now, but there is a little path through the mountains here that will get me to basically where I want to be. So I'll take that path. I'll take that route. Hopefully you won't find anything too dangerous. Oh, but wait. That with the two-hander. Okay. Okay. So here we go again. So that two-handed guy is gonna be a bitch. Okay. Generate my stamina. Come on. Come on. I don't even have like my full gear on. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Uh. Okay. He looks like he's going for it. Oh, dang. Oh, the bear's coming in. I see the bear. Yes, bear. Yes. Yes. Come on, bear. Get them from the behind. Okay, you just stay there while I get my pants on. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so the friend has abandoned him, and the bear's coming in for an assault. It's time. No. Don't run away. Come on. Oh god, oh god, the bear's looking at me now. Please. I just want the axe. Come on. Oh god, the, the the rapids are very strong here. I can't even swim. It's all this gear on me. God. Are you kidding me right now? The bear's stuck. The bear's stuck in the water. He's got trapped in the rapids as well. I just want that axe. Because I, I want I want the two-hander. I got the skill for it. I need that axe. Okay, let's uh okay, let me let me drop this gear. You've done your due diligence and drop the Imperial Sword. Be free. <laughs> I was hoping it would float, but then I forgot, like, oh yeah, metal sinks. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Grab that axe. Oop, blood, I'll take you. Oop, and a, oh my god, alchemy. 
Yes. Yes. Okay, swim. Jump and swim. That's right. Okay, so I got the two-handed axe. Very nice. So I am going to save. Just gonna save right here. I'm also very dirty. Um, take this time to clean. Just to do the washing. And yeah, okay, we're we're doing good. Doing good. I do have a necklace of imminent um, alchemy. That's pretty good. I do not want that. Uh, I will. I think I need. Can I equip you? Good. Okay, awesome. Very good. That's good gear to have. Oh, oh my god! The bear! Okay, we definitely need to leave now. Definitely need to go. Where, where's your friend? Oh god, they got mauled by the bear. Is that the bear? God. I need to get that f out of dodge i might need to go to morthal now because of this i'm kind of scared about the bear maybe i'll be able to take him but i kind of feel like i won't be able to take him also i do have a lot of hp but just it's a bear and bears are pretty strong naturally well i, I guess i'll have to go to morthal i don't really want to but might have to. Well, there is a path up there, so I can go up north and maybe avoid the bear as much as possible. And then... It is only 10 p.m. Or 11 p.m. I think we'll be okay. Okay, this isn't gonna be a lot of bandits now, is it? Okay, no. Okay, so there's a path actually going back... Down? Did I miss that pathway? Looks like there is. I Actually, I literally did. I just walked past the path. It's literally the path that walks right in front of the bear. Or where the bear was. Hello, Mr. Yogi? Have your honey. I threw it in the river. Go find it. Oh, there he is. Okay, so I'm actually doing okay. I haven't been spotted by the bear, or the bear spotted the caribou. I think he's stuck in the water, though. Like, the rapids are just too strong for him to, like, overcome. And I was just stuck in there, which is absolutely divine for me. Not that the, that the divines would bless me now at this point, due to my, uh psychotic nature. I'm just eating everything in sight. But it's not my fault, okay? Okay. So there's a mammoth there. Not that I'd be able to use it, because again, vampire and all that. What another bear? This is bear country. I wasn't lying. This is bear country. Look, he looks kind of ornery, but he is just staying away. I think that's just a warning. He's saying, get away from my kill. You can have it. I don't need it. I just want to go. Not another bear. No, just a moose. I am going to Morthal. <laughs> right. Which isn't good, because now it's going to get colder. But I'm, I'm going to have to take that path. I'm going to have to take that path. Yeah. All right. So from here, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will pause the footage. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you like to watch other videos like these, want to see more videos like them, be sure to like and subscribe. If not, I understand. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Off to Whiterun. Goodbye.